I never expected that once I entered my adulthood, I'd fall in love with solo travel. Traveling alone has helped me to get to know people from all walks of life and get inspired by their stories. It was daunting at the first when I couldn't find someone who had time to travel with me. But anyway, I embarked on many solo trips. Wherever I go, I chat with strangers. When staying in a hostel in New York, I met a lady from South Africa. Her name is Emma Riffa. She's in her 50s and also a solo traveler. She was born to a family of Indian immigrants. Her mom hadn't finished nine years of education, but she always sat down to read books when cooking, teaching herself to read extensively. Her mom had a great impact on her, so Emma Ritha fell in love with seeking knowledge. Later, she got into the best university in South Africa, and she worked for the Ministry of Education in her country, transforming the lives of children like her. Also, I visited some American families, documenting their daily activities with my camera. In 2018, I met an Arabic calligrapher, Wafa, originally from Iraq. In 1989, 18-year-old Wafa was forced to join the Iraqi military, led by Saddam Hussein. When Iraq invaded Kuwait, Wafa rebelled against the Iraqi government and ran away. He was then captured and imprisoned, beaten with wood, metal, and a fist. He fled the prison and settled in a refugee camp in Saudi Arabia in 1991. He lived there for seven years. Surviving in the refugee camp was challenging, so practicing calligraphy became his spiritual support. With the help of the United Nations, Wafa moved to the U.S., but living in the U.S. as an immigrant hasn't been easy. He worked as assembly worker, cook, and food delivery man to support his family, including his four children. And now he makes calligraphy tools by hand and works as an artist and a calligraphy teacher at local schools and museums. Although I don't understand Arabic words, I was amazed by the beauty of his calligraphy and happy to see how people reacted to his works. I'm so grateful for people who share their stories with me and let our paths cross. I'm so grateful for their generosity in welcoming me into their homes. Meeting different people forces me out of my comfort zones to be more open to others. You know, these are people with backgrounds and experiences so different from my own. So listening to their stories makes me more receptive to new experiences, new people, and new ideas. When traveling, I really enjoy being an observer, taking photos of interesting people, like Native Americans introducing their languages to passengers, a couple kissing each other at a square, an Indian family traveling together, a woman praying at a Catholic church, people taking snakes for a walk, cosplay girls waiting for a party, a yoga practitioner doing headstand, a granny swing in the park. These were precious moments for me. I believe every person I encounter in my life is a mentor for me. They give me encouragement, increase my cultural understanding, and help me build empathy. We live in different parts of the world and go through various life experiences, but we have a lot in common. We are all human beings. We all have feelings and we are capable of understanding each other. We seem to be separated on the surface, but connected in the deep. So travel can really help us discover humanity in others and develop a better version of ourselves in the process.